Hi, this is Heather at TeamSlide. You can find us online at TeamSlide.net or TeamSLI.de. We're starting a new series called Slides That Sell in an effort to help you create more effective PowerPoint presentations that will truly engage your audience. Today, I'm going to go over five tips to help you create better slide titles. Slide titles are often overlooked. When worded and formatted properly, slide titles can help with storytelling and quickly convey your key message. Audiences want to clearly know what you're trying to say. Tip number one, use action titles to convey the key message of your slide. Most PowerPoint slide titles tend to describe the contents of the slide rather than the takeaway message. This is a problem since your audience's attention is highest when they're reading the first item of your slides. Action titles spell out the so what of the slide rather than a written description of the content. The audience should only need to read the action title and not the rest of the slide to understand what the primary message is. Here you can see in our example the difference between an action title and a simple description. The action title lets us know exactly what the slide's main message is. Tip number two, create a storyline for your presentation. Before you begin using PowerPoint to create your slides, write out an outline for the story that you're telling. It sounds simple, but most people don't think of doing this. Setting up a story framework prior to creating slides will give your presentation more organization. One way to check if your PowerPoint slides have effective action titles is to stack your slide titles and see if they make a story. Reading through these slide titles in our example here, you can see that there's a clear message and that's the goal. Tip number three, make sure title alignment is consistent. Make sure all of your titles are aligned the same way slide to slide. You don't want to distract the audience and reduce professionalism of your PowerPoint presentation by having this title jump when you change to the next slide. An easy way to do this for your whole presentation is to go into your slide master and format the title text boxes using placeholders. So start by going up to view and click slide master. Now we're in our slide master and we want to add a title placeholder right here. So you can see there's an insert placeholder drop down menu with all the different options you have, but we can just click title and we can exit out of our slide master. And now whenever we create a slide like that, the placeholder will already be in the correct place. Tip number four, keep the text size the same. Maintaining a consistent font size can help keep your PowerPoint presentation polished. Make sure the text size is the same from slide to slide in both the title and the body text. You can manually change this or consider using the slide master again to format the presentation. The consistency of text sizes will add professionalism and uniformity to your presentation. You can see here in this example, there's a big jump in font sizes from this smaller size to this larger size. I'd recommend definitely adjusting this so that there may be somewhere in between. Tip number five, stay away from hanging words. Avoid having just one word on the second line of the title. It creates a visual interruption and draws unintended attention to the single word. To fix this, you can add a manual break to force the two or more words on the second line or add more words to the title. You may also consider giving your team examples of how to format slide titles that go on one line or two lines of text the correct way, just to make it easier for everyone. You can see in this example here, the added additional word to make it more visually appealing and not to focus on this one word on the second line. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you have any tips to add, please drop your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more about creating slides that sell.